I realised early in my undergraduate that I thought going into community pharmacy or hospital pharmacy wasn't where I was going to ultimately end up. I want a career in pharmaceutical research and the advice that I got when I was talking to people at GSK was you really need postgraduate research so I registered as a pharmacist uh, which was a fantastic way of supporting my, you know, my lifestyle. <laughs> so I could work on the weekends uh, and then I was in the labs uh, during the week. I was in my final year of honours. I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, but I knew what I enjoyed doing, and that was problem solving and trying to find out new things. That led me to inquire about being part of the PhD program, and I realised there are a lot of problems out there that have yet to be solved. I think that's <laughs> so what I found most exciting too. I've always wanted to do research because I've wanted to uh, contribute to something that's going to make um, people's lives better, so something that's going to treat diseases more effectively or save lives. What are the main skills that you felt you developed during your PhD program? Um, I think like Tree said, the main skills were um, just that ability to search out and problem solve for yourself, so you can't always just be told the answer, you need to go out and find it. You, you learn how to interact with people, how to work in teams, yeah. how, to, how to lead others. Or you learn to interact with people and that's something that you really do use after you finish your PhD because you're not going to be working by yourself in isolation in yeah. that dark old lab. that sort of skill in any field you go into. Exactly. Right? The skills you use in problem solving can be applied to any scenario mm. and they're the skills you learn in your PhD. Have you had the opportunity to evaluate the, the resources and infrastructure that were available to you as PhD students here compared to what the facilities might be like elsewhere? I think we take it a lot for granted yeah. um, going through the PhD program here, how extremely lucky we are with the resources we have. We have state-of-the-art equipment. You're never at a loss for, yeah, for, for experts or, or people you can talk to to help you out in your project. Yeah.